Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing examples using Spring Boot and Kamunda. In previous tutorial, we looked at what are script tasks in Kamunda and implemented order and payment process flow using script tasks. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at what are service tasks in Kamunda and implement the same using Java. For this, I'll be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So here go to Spring Boot Kamunda. In Spring Boot Kamunda tutorials, today we'll be looking at Spring Boot Kamunda service task example. Kamunda BPM, it is a lightweight open source platform for workflow and process automation. In previous tutorial, we had implemented Spring Boot 3 Kamunda BPM script task example. So go to this example here. So in this tutorial, we, using script task, we had implemented process order and make payment systems. You can go through the YouTube video here. So in this tutorial, using Kamunda BPM, we had defined the order and payment using script task. So here for order, we had defined an external JavaScript file named order.js. So what this order.js did is it calculated the total amount of the order, applied a discount and then stored the result in the order total. So here this is the order.js file that did it. So here we iterated through the order items, calculated the total order value and then stored this value in order total. Next we define the payment script task. So in the payment script task from the execution we get the order total which we had previously stored. And then based on this order total, we made a payment. So if this payment rate is successful, then in the execution, we store the payment status as success. Else we store the payment uh, status as failed. Let us download the source code for this example that we had implemented. So below we have the download source code. Download the source code. So here I have imported the Maven project that we just downloaded. So here in source main resources, we have the second.bpmn. Copy this and paste it here. And I'll be opening the second.bpmn in Kamunda modeler. So here in second dot BPMN, we had defined the order and payment script task. So here in order, we were uh, referencing the order.js, which is an external JavaScript file. And in payment, we were referencing payment.js, which is an external JavaScript file again. Right click on the pom.xml to run as Maven install. This will build the Maven project. So here the Maven build is successful. If you now go to source main Java, here in test controller, we had exposed a REST endpoint with the URL slash execute task. Also here is the execute method using the Kamunda process engine. We were executing the workflow that we have defined by the key second hyphen java in use. So if we go back to the Kamunda uh, BPM that we had defined with the name second dot BPMN. And here if we click outside, we can see that the ID is second hyphen java in use. So what we are doing here is we are loading the workflow that we have defined with the ID second hyphen java in use and executing it. Once this is executed, then this method will return back the string executed Kamunda BPMN. So let us start the Spring Boot project. For this right click on application dot java run as java application. So here the project data started successfully. So now go to this URL localhost 8080 slash execute task. I get executed Kamunda BPMN. We go back to the console. Order total value calculated it is $963 and payment of $963 it has been processed successfully. So it is successfully executing the order.js and payment.js that we had defined here using the Kamunda BPMN workflow. So in the previous tutorial we implemented the order and the payment system using script tasks. We make use of script tasks when the logic to be implemented is simple and self-contained and it doesn't require interaction with any external systems. However, if the logic that is to be implemented, it is complex and also it needs to interact with external services, then instead of making use of scripts, we make use of the service task. So a service task in Kamunda, so a service task in Kamunda, it is a task type that executes automated work typically by calling external services, executing code or integrating with other system. Its various implementation types are Java Delegate, Expression, Delegate Expression, External Service Task and Connector. In today's tutorial, we'll be making use of the Java Delegate. So let us begin with the implementation part. So we'll be creating a Java class named Confirmation Email Delegate, which implements the Java Delegate interface, which is provided to us by Kamunda. Once we implement this interface, we'll need to override the execute method, which has the parameter delegate execution. Using this delegate execution, we can fetch the global variables that we had previously defined in the order.js and payment.js. So if we go back to Eclipse, here in order.js, we, we had stored the order total global variable and in payment.js, we had stored the payment status global variable. Using the delegate execution, we'll be retrieving these global variables. Here we'll be simulating a flow where we are sending a mail with these details to the user. So let us implement this in Java. Here I'll be creating a new class. Package will be com.javainews.workflow.delegate. Copy the contents of this class. Next go to Kamunda modular. So here we have the second.bpmn. I'll be storing this file as third.bpmn. Also this ID I'll change it to third.javainews. Next after payment we'll need to add a service task. So again select a task from here 
and add it here and this will be a service task so from here we have previously we had created script task now create a service task name this as confirmation mail or confirm mail the implementation of this confirm mail it will be a java class that we just defined so from here select the implementation as java class and here we will need to give the fully qualified mail of the java class that we just created so go back to eclipse this will be the package name and this will be the class name save this so we are done with all the changes let us now copy this third dot bpmn to the resources folder of the spring boot project so copy this and here in source main resources i'll be pasting this now i want this test controller to make use of the bpmn workflow that we have defined in third dot bpmn so for this the id that we had given there was third hyphen java news so use this here let us now test if this service task it works properly for this again start the spring boot project so here the spring boot project it has started successfully I'll be refreshing this execute task URL again. If we now go back to Eclipse, here in console we are also seeing sending mail that the transaction of order of amount nine sixty three dollars is a success. So our service task it is getting executed successfully from the BPM and workflow. Hope you have understood this tutorial. You can download the source code of the example that we just implemented from here. Thank you.